Collaborative robotics is about humans and robots working together in shared environments. We're looking at how we take the benefits of the robots, such as the repeatability and the high precision, and combine those with the benefits of the human, which are our cognitive and perceptual abilities. At Sheffield Robotics and the AMRC, we're working together to tackle not only the technical challenges, but also look at the needs of the end users. We've been working with Cobots for at least two or three years now. The first Cobot came out in late 2000s. It wasn't until 2011 that the industry standards came out to match that. There's a bit of a challenge of getting the standards to meet the technology. The technology is lagging behind the standards, but there's a reason for that. The actual implementation is challenging. The Cobot arm is relatively straightforward to sort out because it modernises itself, but the use case for that arm is not set. This is what we're doing at the AMRC. We're looking at the use case, the arms, the grippers, and trying to match that to the case so it makes a safe cell. It's still challenging and it's still not that common to have these arms in circulation. The AMRC is quite fortunate that we have contacts with our world leading suppliers of safety systems. So we're using this technology to actually develop cells that can be rolled out to the small and medium enterprise companies that need this technology. One of the really cool things about this FANUC cobot is that you can manually guide it. So if you half press a dead man, you have an array of buttons so you can teach it, you can change the speed of your robot, change it into a linear or six axis, and then what this allows you to do is uh, teach it a path. So essentially you don't have to have the expertise of a robot operator. On top of that as well, it's got a cushioned surface so that if it bumps into you, the strain gauge in the base reads the force and doesn't actually impart enough force to harm a person. The main blocker for having cobots integrated into SMEs, which is mainly what we're trying to develop is called standard for, is they don't really understand the safety requirements. No one does at the minute. So that's what we're trying to investigate and develop um, to create that for them so they can come in, have a look, see how it would fit in their business. Move right arm right. Move right arm down. Move right arm up. We're developing software solutions for programmers of collaborative robots so that they can write one piece of code and deploy it to multiple platforms. So this will make their job much easier developing real practical systems. My work looks at kind of engaging users in the process of developing collaborative robots. That might be nurses, it might be factory floor workers, it may also be kind of management. Um, and it looks at how we kind of empower them within the process of developing collaborative robots, understand what their needs might be, but also the opportunities and fears that they have and how we either improve or address those. So by incorporating findings from engagements, uh, for example, participants want to know when it's safe to touch the robot and when the robot is autonomously working and they shouldn't touch the robot. We can find that uh, actually their performance on the task increase, so they are quicker to accomplish the task and they are more accurate to do that, but also their negative attitudes and anxiety towards robot decrease and they feel way much happier while interacting with the robots. The potential of this technology is, is huge uh, and at Sheffield Robotics and the AMRC we're working together to make sure we engage with stakeholders to ensure that technology is not only safe but acceptable to end users.